Then get up. Well, my body laid me down. Let's get to it. So about 10 days ago, you guys probably remember Turkey Alashi talking to Oscar De La Hoya and they had an agreement. They said that if Virgil Ortiz beats Berichek, which he did, that they will work on getting that fight with Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford to happen. They also said that it would be Shakir Stevenson versus William Zepeda on the undercard. Well, it turns out that that was all cap. It was all cap. It just... They just Turns out they were just talking. Or maybe they was for real. But people have been saying that Williams and Pedro had turned down the fight. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's what people are saying. Then on top of that, now we got Shakir Stevenson apparently in an agreement with somebody named Joe Cordina. Now, Joe Cordina is a fighter at 130 pounds. And if this is real, I'm guessing he's going to move up and fight Shakir Stevenson at 135. They saying that they have agreed to make a fight happen between these two. This guy was also an IBF champ, but he just lost his belt a couple months to another boxer that I don't know. Now, I know Shakir Stevenson getting a lot of backlash about this. A lot of people saying, why would he choose Joe Cardina? He's always been fighting Williams and Zepeda. Listen, I don't think there's anything wrong with someone fighting somebody as a tune-up. And that's if Joe Cardina is supposed to be a tune-up for Shakir Stevenson. However, from my knowledge, Shakir Stevenson was supposed to be and just came off a tune-up fight versus Harazunian. I mean, wasn't there just a tune-up? You know, a fight just to stay active? And if I'm wrong, somebody tell me I'm wrong. Come and correct me. Let me know. Nah, he ain't no tune-up. But to me, he's a tune-up. You got your reasons on why he's not a tune-up? I got my reasons on why Harazunian is a tune-up. So in my head, he just came off a tune-up fight. Why is he taking another one? And for anybody who's going to say, bro, you don't have to fight somebody, fight a big name, then tune up, then a big name, then a tune up. I never said you had to. But don't nobody want to see you fighting tune ups all the time. And I get it. We also can't blame Shakur Stevenson if these people really are ducking him. I get that. But we can't blame him for laying down and taking these trash fights. And we're going to pray for these niggas. Have all mercy, right. Jesus. And agreeing to these trash fights. Because apparently he don't care what the fans think. This is what he put on Twitter. LOL. I'm not fighting for y'all no more. F y'all. International Cur Active now. Chasing greatness. How? Oh, How? Tag, Sway. Tag. Chasing greatness? You know, people love taking what Floyd Mayweather did and trying to apply it to themselves, and they end up doing it completely backwards. Now, I know Floyd said that he was also fighting for just himself and his family, but I don't know if he said that while he was on the rise. Because you know me, it don't matter who I fight. I remember he said it when he was already at the top. He was already at the star. Shakir Stevenson, you're on the rise. You shouldn't be saying it. You see, when Floyd Mayweather said it, he was already at the top. Because you had people who already loved him, and you had people who already hated him. So he was going to get watched regardless. You had the ones who wanted to see him prosper. You had the ones who wanted to see him fall. But Shakir Stevenson, with you, there's nothing to fall from. You see, when you say, niggas will just stop watching you completely. Oh, you don't care about the fans? You don't care about they paying your bills? Okay, we ain't watching your fights then. While you're on the road to greatness, you shouldn't say stuff like that. You should get as many as people wanting to watch you as possible. Then when you get on the top, then let that be known. But I know one thing, <laughs> when you see them numbers start going down and he ain't selling no pay-per-views, even on Thursdays, when the ratings start going down, I guarantee you, he's gonna reiterate or rethink what he said about not fighting for the fans. I'm good with that. I'm cool with that. Anything under that, I ain't cool. I mean, how silly is that? 